Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to discuss about bachelor degree scholarship and there are many people and their parents who when these guys are in high school they start thinking of applying to some university and generally they concentrate on the university in their own country. But what has happened is that there are many scholarships out there in different countries which they can apply to. And one of the reasons for this proliferation of scholarships for international students is that many of the bodies which rank universities such as the US ranking, the Shanghai ranking, the Times ranking and so on and all these bodies essentially would like the universities to have a certain amount of students who are from foreign countries and also some faculty from foreign countries. So this process is known as the internationalization of the university system. Now throughout the existence of humanity universities were actually places where people from all type of places could come and study and do research. So there is some attempt to create that. So I'll begin some videos on this theme. So today we are going to go to Korea and I'm going to look at the institute known as the KAIST. So essentially this is the top or one of the top universities as far as Korea is concerned. This is a university which primarily focus on science, engineering, technology and business. So let's look into this. Now one of the advantages of the KAIST is that it essentially conducts a lot of its work or I should say most of its instruction in the English language. And this university was established in conjunction with the US. So there was some input from Stanford University and there was some money given by the US and this university was set up in a manner that it would emulate a typical American university and focus more on research and development. So publications and research are given a lot of importance at KAIST. Now this university is located in Daejeon, South Korea. This is a place about 150 kilometer from Seoul. It's a national research university and you can essentially apply for this for a bachelor degree program. So let's start looking at some of the aspects of this scholarship. This is a fully funded scholarship. So essentially you get full tuition fee waiver, you get living expenses paid for, you are part of the national health insurance system. So essentially they are going to take care of you as far as all your expenses are concerned as a bachelor's degree student. Now one of the aims of this university and for giving this scholarship is to foster science talents to contribute to nation and society. Now another fact is that KAIST is a pretty large university. It has about 10,000 full-time students and about 1,000 faculty members or so. But I would say it's not very large. It's not like one of the giant public universities in the US or some other places. Now you can apply to any bachelor's degree program which is offered at KAIST. Your fellowship will last for eight semesters. So essentially that would be four years. Now the target is only international students here. So it's very interesting that this fellowship is not meant for Korean citizens. There are certain specific things about further details about the people it's targeted. It's uh, such that neither parent is a Korean citizen. So that also does not apply. And also people who have studied within Korea will not be able to apply for this fellowship. So if you are a Korean, you should have spent your entire educational life, for example, all the way from kindergarten to elementary education, primary, secondary, uh, all these things till high school in a foreign country. And the international schools in Korea do not count as foreign countries. So you have to actually have been in a real foreign country. So essentially the aim is to bring some global perspective to the university. This is always very advantageous because what happens is that the local students get a flavor of the different foreign students and they tend to form lifelong friendships because at this stage if you are 17 to 21 year old, if you interact with people, they are going to be friends for you for your entire life. Now there are some requirements. Of course, you have to maintain a GPA of 2.7 out of 4.5 after your freshman year. So that is one of the requirements so that you cannot slip down too much. Remember, KAIST is a very competitive university. 
Now, how do they make the decision? Essentially, you have to apply through their portal when you select any of the programs and so on. When it comes to funding, you can ask for CAIST scholarship there. That will essentially make sure they consider you for this particular scholarship. Now, you need to be a good student. You need to have high scores in your high school. If you want to further buttress your situation, you could give SAT scores, you could give AP for example, if you are from IB, you should have a high score there also and also you should have good letters of recommendation. So I would say it is very similar to applying to any US university but the good point being that there you may not get a scholarship but in KAIST if you choose this particular option and you are a good student and you have some luck favoring you then you may get admission into one of these science engineering business type of programs. So, you can check out the web page there are a plethora of programs out there for which you can apply for now one of the things is though the instruction process is all conducted in the english language you do need to go there and learn enough korean so that you can clear level two of an exam known as the topic and this is the test of proficiency in korean and this is required for graduation so keep that in mind now, this scholarship is certainly very useful. Like I mentioned to you before, KAIST has progressively grown into one of the top universities in the world. So, what has happened is that since its foundation in 1971, it's been concentrating a lot on publications, on graduating PhDs and master students and so on. And so, it has been progressively growing in rank over the years and it has become a very good university. So this is a fellowship which you can apply for. Typically try to apply for the fall season, that is the best and start your preparation considerably in advance. So if you are trying for fall next year, you can start your preparation process at this time. So again, this was my take on the undergraduate scholarship possibilities. Like I mentioned, there are many opportunities out there in the world for fully funded programs to do your bachelor's degree and you can take advantage of these programs wherever you are in the world. So I will cover more and more countries in this particular series and hope it will benefit the students who are in high school as well as parents and also some other people who may not yet be parents but maybe they are planning to become parents down the road. So I'll end this video here and I will see you in a video sometime soon. Thank you.